everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are on week five of our Spring Blossom Throw Crochet Long. So today we're going to learn how to make a afghan square, an afghan square using the small daisy stitch. Now this is a stitch that I taught in one of my other stitch tutorials here on my channel. You can go and check it out under the crochet stitches uh, playlist if you're looking for a more detailed instruction for the stitch. But this is the stitch here. It's called a small daisy stitch and it's worked similar to other star and spike stitches. It is in the spike stitch family and uh, it creates a very pretty design. It's similar on both the front and the back. It's also a relatively dense pattern. So here I'll show you here on the other side. It's a relatively dense pattern uh, so you're not going to have any holes or any lacy look in this one here. Okay so this is a stitch that we're going to be working today as uh, has been the case for all these squares. It will measure approximately 10 inches by 10 inches and uh, if you're going to change the size of your square, you're going to need an odd number of stitches for your foundation chain. I'm going to be working in the Karen Simply Soft, which is a 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn, and I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. I'll have information for both of these items in the description of this video. Of course the full written pattern for the square will also be in that description as well as a link for the uh, spring blossom throw crochet along in total that will also be there as well. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's grab our hooks and our yarn and get started with this crochet small daisy afghan square. So our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our slip knot. And as I mentioned there a moment ago, if you're going to change the size of your square, you're simply going to need an odd number of stitches. Today for our square, we're going to start by making a foundation chain of 55 chains. Once you have your foundation chain complete, we're going to go right ahead and start working our daisy spike stitches. What you're going to do is you're going to start by working one daisy cluster into the second, third, and fifth chain from your hook. Okay, so each stitch is made up of three different spike stitches. So our first spike is worked into our second, next one into the third and then into the fifth. So to start into that second chain from our hook we're going to insert our hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Next we're going to work in the third chain so insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to skip the next stitch that fourth one and into the fifth chain insert your hook yarn over and draw up a loop you'll have four loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook that is your first daisy cluster next you're going to chain one that's going to close your stitch we're going to continue working these clusters all the way across, working our stitches into that chain stitch that we just made, into the chain of the last spike of the previous uh, daisy cluster. We're going to skip one chain and work the last part into the next one, into the next chain. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to first insert my hook into that chain stitch that I just made. So just right through the center of that chain, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw through. The next spike 
is going to be down in the same chain as the last stitch was completed, where the last stitch was completed. So insert your hook into that same chain where that last spike is, yarn over and draw up a loop. Then just as we did before, we're going to skip a chain and then into the next chain, work our last leg of this daisy spike stitch. So yarn over and pull through. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. You're going to continue that all the way along. So chain one, insert your hook into that chain that you just made, yarn over, draw up a loop, then jump down and into the chain, the same chain as the last spike of your last stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, skip the next chain, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and drop a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops. Continue that all the way along. Each stitch will have three spikes to it. Always remember to skip that one chain down below and then work your last leg just like so. So continue that all the way across. So I've now worked my small daisy stitches all the way across. This is what my first row looks like. At the end of my row one, I will have pulled my yarn through all four loops on my hook. And then I'm going to chain three and turn my work. Now the good thing about this pattern is that it is a one row repeat. So this second row that we're going to work, we are going to repeat this row all the way through to the end of our square. So this is the one that you really need to remember. What we're going to do is we're going to work our first small daisy stitch and we're going to start by working that into the second and the third chains from, uh, in our chain three. So we'll start working those first two legs in there. So insert your hook into that second chain of the chain three, yarn over and drop a loop. Then into that third chain of the chain three, insert your hook yarn over and draw up a loop. We still have to work one more leg. So we're going to skip this top stitch of this daisy stitch that we're working out of. We're going to also skip the chain one that closed the other one. So that's this one here. So skip the first stitch, skip the chain one, and then into the top of the next daisy stitch, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. With four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four. So that's where you work that first small daisy cluster. You're then going to chain one and we're going to work our next one. Here we're going to insert our hook into that chain stitch that we just made at the top of the cluster insert our hook into the same stitch as the last spike in the previous cluster. Yarn over and drop a loop. We're then going to skip the chain space and work our final leg into again the top of the next daisy cluster. So you will always recognize the tops of these daisy clusters because of their stitches are a little bit longer than your chain spaces. So into the top of that next daisy cluster, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. I'll show you that one more time. So chain one, insert your hook into that chain one that you just made, yarn over, draw up a loop. Insert your hook into the same stitch as the last spike in the previous cluster, yarn over and draw a loop. Skip that chain one and then into the top of the next daisy cluster, 
in the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all four. So you are going to repeat that all the way across. And that's all there is to working this daisy stitch pattern. So for the rest, until your work reaches about 10 inches or the size that you are going for, you're going to continue to repeat that row, that chain three, and then working these daisy clusters all the way across. Once you have completed your 10 inches uh, and uh, you have your square complete, you can fasten off and then get ready to start your simple single crochet edging, which is the same edging that you've been working on all of the squares in the Spring Blossom Throw Crochet Along. So once you have your daisy, small daisy stitch square complete, you'll have your finished product like this. You can uh, go ahead and weave in any ends if you would like. And then to make my squares easier to join them together because I'm going to be crocheting them together, I added a simple single crochet edging to each of these uh, squares. So what you're going to do for your simple edging is you're going to join with a slip stitch into um, the top right corner of your square. And you're going to start by working 39 single crochet stitches evenly across. Now for the squares for this blanket, I worked all of my squares with the same number of stitches. And you're going to do the same, which means that some of the squares uh, had a longer or shorter starting chain. So at times you will not be working in every single stitch. You're going to want to place your stitches fairly evenly along uh, each edge of your square. And uh, just try to make sure, like if you mark the halfway point of each side, that uh, you have half your stitches worked on one side and half of your stitches worked on the other. So you're going to work 39 single crochet stitches all the way across the top of your square. Once you have your 39 stitches, you should be at your corner stitch. And when you get to your corner stitch, you're going to want to work three single crochet stitches all into that same space. So one, two, and three. And that's going to bring you around to work your other side. You're now going to do the same thing. Work 39 stitches evenly along this rough edge. And again, there's no uh, clear place to work your stitch. So you're just trying to work them evenly all the way across. You're going to work 39 stitches. And I should add, if you would like to change the number of stitches, that you work across each side. You're more than welcome to just remember that if you're working the spring stitches throw, then you're going to want to make sure that you always have the same number of stitches along uh, each the sides of each of your squares. So go ahead, work 39 stitches all the way across. When you come to your corner, again, you're going to work three single crochet stitches in your corner. Work 39 stitches across your other end, three stitches in your corner, 39 stitches across this other end, three stitches in your corner, and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. You can then at that time fasten off, weave in your ends, and uh, move on for the spring stitches throw. You will need five more of these small daisy squares. So that's all there is to working this small daisy square for the spring stitches throw. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.